Hello, Leo. Welcome to your energy reading for the next two weeks from now to the end of 2022. I hope you're well. And um, this is not traditional tarot. This is an energy read. So take it as it resonates and drop the rest. And um, watch out also for reading. Uh, I'll possibly uh, put, them before, put them up before the, the start of the new year. And uh, this will be the energy week for 2023. I haven't decided if I'm going to do six months or the whole year, but we'll watch out for it anyway. Okay, Leo. Now let's see what the energies are like for you in the next two weeks. So from now till the end of the year. So we're going to cut the deck and then take it from there. We're going to pick seven cards, okay? For Leo... Eight of Hearts, Child of Hearts, Eight of Wands, Five of Swords, Seeker of Wands. Wow, your cards here are so similar. Four of the cards here are identical to Sagittarius, <laughs> just in different placements. Um, Ten of Wands. And we have here Guide of Wands. Okay. Interesting. Let's see what how the story pans out for you. Um, you are getting ready for a new adventure in the new year, right? Uh, lots of changes uh, coming up for you in the upcoming year. Um, you are definitely highly encouraged to tap into your creative force, uh, to open your heart to allow your heart to, to be the mouthpiece, so to speak, of your creativity. Um, you know, you, you, you will be somewhat moving with the rhythm of life, right, in the next two weeks and just pacing yourself nicely, um, coming into, oh, there is, you know, energy of uh, reunion uh, with someone, reunion of souls. Um, so that's a nice energy. Reconnecting with a loved one or a friend, or, you know, there is that energy in this particular card as well. And, um, okay, a lot of healing in the next two weeks as well. This healing has to do with your inner construct, right? Your inner self. And that healing is about home. How are you um, seeing home? What is home to you? And uh, perhaps, you know, healing from past trauma, your childhood, uh, stuff and coming to terms with many things that has happened in your life. A parental figures coming into play as well. And you may be realizing the role, the bigger role that you, you play now as a grown up. You know, how is it that you can help yourself and heal yourself uh, through any trauma that you may have gone through? Okay. And so it's a, it's a good time to contemplate about this, how you can take charge of your own healing and come up. Are much more empowered okay um okay there, there is um this this force of uh, the way to describe it would be like fire in the belly you know uh, this strong force coming up through through the belly area and this like the uh, emotional energies um maybe a surge of stronger emotional energies giving you this force um like motivation, you can see that as motivation, but it is also very trans transformative, right? There's a lot of transformational energies coming through for you emotionally, um, perhaps also transforming the way you feel about a situation or uh, transforming within, you know, as a person. So growing up, you know, like, like maturing in a way, okay? Um, you are starting to be much more uh, I guess the best way to describe it would be stepping out of a comfort zone, you know, in terms of how you are expressing your emotions and how you are loving, loving other people, how you express your love towards someone, you, you're stepping out of a comfort zone and almost like starting a new journey in how you wish to express love, right? I mean, if you were conservative before, maybe you're trying out something a little bit different or you're just naturally you know, just just naturally going into that role where you are much more 
maybe expressive with how you feel towards someone. Um, you know, you're not holding back. You're not shy about how you're expressing yourself. That sort of energy is coming up uh, for the next, from, from now to the end of the year for you, Leo. So a lot of transformation. Um, you are finding yourself becoming much more uh, expressive in your creativity in how you communicate with the world, uh, with yourself first, and then with the world. Um, you are definitely also learning new skills in how to communicate. Now, communication is not just, you know, how you are speaking, right? It can be in any form. If you're an artist, it will be through art. If you're a dancer, it will be through dance. If you're a writer, through writing, you know, all kinds, right? So uh, you are finding new ways. You're learning new ways of communication that's going to be very beneficial for your professional life and also for your personal life. You find yourself much more in touch with your feelings, with your emotions, you know, with all this transformation, like for fire in the belly, taking charge of the healing, right? The communication somehow uh, becomes much more colorful, much more expressive, and you find that your creative force can uh, almost uh, very fluidly um, be expressed, you know, and no shying away, no no hesitation, okay? Um, you are definitely entering, you know, 2023 brings you uh, really a new opportunity in how you want to, in fact, many opportunities are going to come to you, Leo, and it is up to you in which, how you want to express. It's almost like you're starting with, a blank canvas. So opportunities are plenty. Doors are open for you. Mm, it's up to you how you wish to express this. But, you know, very importantly, um, it is through your own healing process, right? And maturing emotionally and, you know, uh, coming out of your comfort zone that you find that you are able to use your creative force in a much more productive way, uh, in a way that's going to show up and you know how to say, hey, yes, this is me. This is me being true to myself, being authentic. And this is how I wish to express myself. And I'm, a, I'm not going to apologize for being me. I'm not going to shy away from being me, right? That sort of energy is coming up for you very, very nicely, playing out very nicely for you here, um, Leo. Now, um, okay. The energy of um, balance coming into, into play here. The balance of your creative side and your emotional side so that you're not, um, you're not, the next two weeks, it feels like everything is tempered, you know, everything is much more balanced. Um, so you're ending the year really nicely, right? Much more balanced. None of the highs and lows and, um yeah feeling very nicely now let's see what else is going on here for this particular energy shall we get a clarifier okay clarifier clarifier for leo with regards to this particular energy um It sounds like you're entering this, you're learning how to communicate, to sell your ideas, you know, that sort of um, that sort of energy is coming up, right? Being the better, better salesperson. But the most important sales, the most important person that you need to sell to is yourself, right? Are you convinced of your own capacity and ability? Okay. So something very good is about to happen, very positive. Okay. Happy surprise. Be open to that. Maybe it's a wonderful Christmas gift that's going to open new doors, new opportunities, allowing you to see much more clearly about 2023. That's the sense I have here for you. Leo, what else does Leo need to know? Get some C. It feels right like this is the um this is just the beginning of what 2023 is going to be like. It feels for you, Leo, that you're gonna be so busy with you know creating, 
just creating, creating content, creating things, creating. Uh, but but you do need to be honest with yourself first and foremost, right? And then you open the doors. You you kind of like clear the blockages, uh, within yourself to be able to use that creative energies to flower, you know, to blossom as a person. So even if you are going to use your creative energies uh, in a professional way, uh, maybe you want to sell something, you want to gain something out of it, but ultimately all you're, all you're doing is really for personal transformation. It's really for healing, healing of self, okay? So nothing popped up for us, so we're going to pick a card. Brothers and sisters. So are you connecting with others, perhaps, um, to work with a team, right? to use them as sounding board or feedback for your creative energies. There's a lot of creative energies coming up for you, Lil, but make sure that you are using uh, other people, right? A network or something as a sounding board because without a sounding board, um, you will find that it, it's, um you know, you, you are just listening to your own thoughts and, and sometimes it's harder to see clearly whether it's going to work or not. Okay, whatever it may be, how you're using your creative force, your creative energies, for an endeavor, for work, or, you know, just be yourself. You're a great person. Enjoy being yourself. Okay? Very nice. Let's see what other clarifiers are there for Leo. In this reading, end of the year reading here, trust. So trust in the divine. Trust that all will be fine. Don't second guess. Don't doubt yourself. Um, trust. That's, that's really important for you at this stage, Leo. What else is there for Leo to know? Energy's rather straightforward, right? From the uh, cards that I picked, the first set that I picked. So um, we don't really need clarifiers. Okay. Just as we said, we don't really need divine love. When you offer everything to the divine with detachment, you begin a love affair with spirit. So work with spirit in how you are um, expressing your creativity. Extraordinary. There's a wild and impetuous uniqueness to you that deserves to be honored. Okay, that's your creative force coming out. Real. Very nice energies. I feel like this is a, a wonderful end to, to the year. Whoops, a whole stack drop, but we're not going to use them too many. Um, we're just going to work with this for now. One more. We just need one more for Leo. Hey, what was that? Individuality. Every person has their own personal... Every person has their own personalized study plan in Earth School. Yes, so you are unique. We're going to pick one more because that one <laughs> was from a flip, was flipped in this deck. So Leo, one more for Leo. Let's see what else does Leo need to know. Very good end to the year. You're really starting. I feel like it's closing out nicely, helping you to have clarity and also encouraging you to use, to heal and to use your, you know, your creative energies wisely. Invite help. Okay, good and surrender, okay? Do not be shy to ask for help and then surrender as well. All right, Leo, if this message resonates with you, please give me a like and subscribe to my channel. And I look forward to doing your reading for 2023. It'll, you know, the reading will be up before the end of the year. And um, yeah, I'll keep you informed. Uh, do subscribe so that you know uh, when the reading comes up. And if you are looking for a private reading for yourself, wanting to know what the energies are like for 2023, um, you can book a private session. Okay, I'll see you then and God bless.